What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video. Man, check out this beauty. What we have here is a new electric bike by the company Magicycle. First and foremost, like I always do on any product review that was sent out to me, uh, just wanna say thank you to the company Magicycle. I uh, say it over and over again, I only review stuff here on the channel that I'm a firm believer in and products that I'm gonna use. Um, of course, this right here is definitely one of those and we're gonna go through the specs and components. That's out of the way, just wanna say thanks to Magicycle. What we're gonna do here today is we're gonna go through the components, the spec list on this today. Um, and then I'm gonna follow up with some additional videos on this bike after I get some more ride time on this unit. Uh, if you guys wanna take a look at this bike in closer detail, make sure and look at the link down below. Click on that link, use the code HH1. That's gonna get you a hundred bucks off of this bike. Right now, these bikes are currently at $1,589 on the website. Now that's subject to change, of course, just because of everything that's going on, inflation, um, these, these things are gonna become more popular and more demand, I can guarantee it right now, uh, just because they're such a good unit. Uh, it helps you guys out, saving a hundred bucks on the purchase, and it also helps the channel out too. So that's what we're all about, helping each other out, right? So the one that I picked for them to send out to me was this version here, it almost looks black. Uh, it looks black to me right now, standing over the top of it, and I'm sure it shows that way uh, in the video to you guys. But this is actually a midnight blue. They also have a pearl white. They also have the regular top tube, just like this. And then they also have a step through version, which is where this is kind of bent down, sort of like a U shape. Uh, you guys can take a look at it on the website, but it's a little bit easier just to step through. You can swing a leg through the middle. Whereas me, I just swing a leg over the top to get onto the bike. But we're gonna dive in guys. We're gonna take a look at this a little bit closer, go through some of the components, some of the specs, what I think about it so far. And then uh, we'll kind of follow up with some more videos here in the future. On this ride, we're just gonna use a little mix of pedaling with some pedal assist and just using throttle only. Just a good combination to show you guys. See how long the trip is, see how the battery does. Go a little bit off road too. the tools in my tool bag rattling a little bit probably take those out for deer season Going 20 up this hill right now. We're getting off of the pavement road, getting onto this gravel road that leads into Beaver Lake. I'll show you guys once we stop up here. I'll pull up what the max speed was, things like that. But I think we got up to a little bit above 28 mile an hour there. Uh, 2.1 miles into the trip right now.
Still going 18 up this hill right now. Down to 16. Starting out up front here, you'll notice these big old fat tires. These are four inch, what they call puncture resistant tires. Uh, really nice Kenda tires, serve their purpose well. This white line on the outside, that's actually a reflector, so that's a nice addition. Um, you'll notice it does have a built-in headlight here. That was one of the items that I had to install. Not a whole lot on this bike to install whenever you get it out of, out of the box. Packaged very, very well. I uh, had to install the front fender, which was simple. Headlight mounts on with the front fender. Uh, you'll notice here full suspension up front, no suspension in the rear, but for what I do and how I'm going to be using this bike, um, that dual fork up front is just fine with the suspension there. It does have a lock lever here where you can lock the suspension out to where the forks do not ride up or down, or you can leave it unlocked where it does give you full suspension up front. It does have 180 millimeter mechanical disc brakes. Uh, the brakes could be just a little bit better, but for no faster than we're gonna be going on this and what I'm gonna be using it for, the, the brakes are just fine. Um, the hydraulic brakes, of course, are, are better, but I'm happy to see that it is disc brakes. Um, but the mechanical ones just aren't quite as good as hydraulic, but they serve their purpose fine and they definitely stop the unit okay. Uh, you'll notice here that I have the reflectors on the wheels still. I will be taking those off. I do not need reflectors for what I use it for. You know, a hunting rig, um, out checking sheds, uh, riding through fields, things like that. So I'll, I'll be removing those. Moving on back just a little bit. That was one thing that really got me excited about this bike. Uh, this is a rear hub driven bike. It's got a rear hub motor back there. Uh, but I'm really excited about this 52 volt. My other one is a 48 volt for anybody that's been following the channel. Um, that thing always does fine, but just by using this thing so far, I can definitely tell that this thing has more power when needed. Uh, that four extra volts comes into play um, at any time that it's needed, uh, just to give you kind of a, an additional boost, I guess you would say, and that definitely makes a difference in things. Real pretty uh, sticker here. You can probably take that off if, if you don't want it on there. Um, I don't think that's going to affect me hunting wise, so probably just leave that on there. Uh, you can take the battery on or off to charge either way. Right there's your keyhole. You just insert your key there and the whole battery comes off. Right here comes with the built-in uh, bar so you can push your button here. Hopefully that's showing up okay, but you can see there that the very bottom bar next to the F, the full, is still lit up so we have a full battery. This right here was a nice addition. This came with the bike in the box, in the packaging. This right here, you can put your cell phone right here and you can still touch the screen through this protective layer. Uh, that actually works really well. This does open up and you can store whatever you want to in there. They did send a complete toolkit, which was a big surprise to me. The toolkit's actually pretty nice. I'll show you guys that here later. Big hill here. Definitely gonna have to help. See if I can do it without standing up. Oh yeah. Piece of cake. Third gear. I do have pedal assist on level seven. So that helps, but I'm still cruising at 12 right now.
second we're down here at the lake. Pretty smooth ride. Really love the twist throttle. Uh, my other electric bike does have the thumb throttle. I like that twist. It's just a lot easier on longer rides. Uh, a little easier to manipulate. Uh, you can see here if it's going to pick up. It's pretty sunny out here. Uh, 3.2 miles. And there we go. 96%. I don't know if that picks up on the GoPro or not because the GoPro is strapped to my chest. So I want to make sure and show that to you guys. Max speed, 31.6. Probably going down that hill. Pretty awesome. Love this display. So many options. Uh, you guys heard it there, but I have my tools in here. Every bump I hit, thing was rattling like crazy. I'm going to get these out of here. Handy little tool pouch. All kinds of goodies in there and what we'll do is we'll just strap it right here check this out try to do this one-handed for you guys put that there this comes from the factory with this strap check that out be good enough to get them back home that way it's not as loud when i'm hitting bumps these good old county roads are pretty bad uh, up here you got your front and rear brakes on each side of course just like a regular bike uh, got you a nice little horn here check out this LCD display lights up says Magicycle uh, just to let you guys know this might show up as flashing on your end but that's just the frame rate of my camera uh, it does display solid and there's no flashing on our end here so on this nice color, full color LCD display, oh, I hit the plus button there, about got away from me. Um, right here, we got 86% battery left. Up here, we've got a clock. Down here is, of course, shows you how fast you're going when this thing's moving. Right here's a continuous wattage output, which I think that's a very neat built-in feature. Uh, right here is my last trip was 7.4 miles. You can toggle through and this is gonna tell you your current trip, uh, overall odometers, max speed, and then time of your trip, how long it took you. Pedal assist right here is currently on level one, if that'll get them focus. And then we would go over here and you would hit plus and you can see that over there changing. The nice thing about this is you can go into the menu by holding plus and minus down. Check out all these options. You can change the wheel size of the bike. Uh, you can change the speed limit. Brightness of your display here. Voltage. Advanced settings. So we can go in here and if you go to power set, you can actually change how much wattage, how much power goes to each power assist level. So I, I like mine on zero to seven, so you can have an option to not have pedal assist. Uh, that way you can just pedal it yourself if needed. We'll go back in here and I'll show you guys that real quick. So I just go to power set and then you hit that, hit it again, and then see for pedal assist level one, I've got it at 40%, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and then level seven is at 96. You can change each and every one of those to whatever level you would like. Just tons of flexibility, customization with this thing. And we'll get back out of here for now. There's a lot of different options in here. It's got a password so you can you know lock your bike up basically change your units there between imperial and metric uh, factory reset change your display and then we're going to get out of here for now lots of options in there just tons of features with this bike with this lcd display uh, the drivetrain is a seven speed shimano which i was pretty happy with that um, you know shimano makes pretty good components and for the rear derailleur uh, this isn't you know bottom of the barrel or you know very high end it's just a nice mid-level uh, it's an altus uh, rear derailleur so i was happy with that you actually increase uh, go up in gear right here 
and then right here you downshift so that's pretty cool pretty easy to manipulate right here you've got a couple of inputs to put a water bottle holder right there right here we do have metal uh, pedals pretty happy with that not a fan of plastic pedals so happy to see that the rear fender comes built into it didn't have to put that on uh, looking back the only thing that I really had to put on this thing was the front fender which was very simple a few bolts here there and up here and the light attaches with the front fender mounting so that was easy uh, put on the handlebars that was pretty simple uh, I'd say all in all this thing maybe took me 20 minutes to put together and put the front wheel on uh, moving on back here you can see max capacity on the built-in fender is 25 kilograms so you know talking 50 55 pounds somewhere around there and then check this out this strap system it's got three bungee straps here this came factory like that that's awesome all you do is pull down on this turn this sideways and it comes unhooked real simple see if i can do it one-handed here all you do is pull it down twist it comes right out super handy don't have to carry around bungee cords it's already built in uh, once again mechanical disc brakes in the back all right we're gonna head out of here head back take a different route home there's a pretty good sized hill at the end of this field here we'll head out that way and climb that and see how she does Try to lower this camera a little bit for you guys. All right, let's head back. Definitely have to help it up that one a little bit. It's pretty steep, but still setting down. Still easy. So far, been super happy with this upright riding style. Uh, much better than my other bike that I have. A lot more comfortable and uh, really enjoying it.
nice solid well-built kickstand there moving on to the other side uh, you'll notice here the rear reflector and then back here check this out this is a rear light whenever you turn your lights on but <clears throat> i'm gonna try to put the camera back here and go up and sque squeeze the brakes check that out squeezing the brakes brake lights work i thought that was really cool my other bike doesn't have that a uh, nice comfy seat here got magicycle on the back of it nice comfy padded seat right on that thing for a long time uh, like i mentioned earlier 750 watt rear hub motor uh, they build their motors build their bikes in-house uh, company responds very quickly to email, any emails i sent on this side here but if you're running down through the road or if you're cruising through the woods these things will bounce that's how a chain's supposed to be right there but this chain stay has a protector on it right here. Thought that was really nice built-in feature. Nice padded, uh, maybe nylon. Probably repels water really well, dries out quickly. Uh, once again, there's that Shimano Altus rear derailleur. Good components. Uh, definitely don't wanna go cheap on those. You want smooth shifting and this came factory. Uh, smooth shifting, didn't have to do any adjustment. To the rear derailleur so far after time these cables will loosen up just like all bikes and you'll want to go in and adjust that rear derailleur a little bit and uh, maybe your front and rear brakes too all cables eventually lengthen a little bit and you'll want to make some changes to those some geese cruising by uh, right here fully adjustable seat got a nice seat post here just Pull this lever out you can adjust it on the fly raise your seat up and down and then your seat pitch and angle is fully adjustable too hopefully you can see that there there we go so you can set it up to your riding style or your comfort uh, the fenders are awesome nice added feature just plastic nothing metal but i like that because they're not as loud uh, if they're kind of shaking around just an awesome unit guys make sure and check out the website see what you guys think uh, use that code hh1 save you a hundred bucks Just got back all right we're at 7.4 61 percent on the battery and i would say confidently say that i used 95 percent throttle only had to pedal a little bit on a few of those big hills but for the most part majority was all throttle also want to show you guys the accessories that come with this. Like I mentioned earlier, this nice top tube pack came with it. Um, also, give you a nice Magicycle hat. Here's that tool pouch I was talking about. Look at all these tools. Everything you need for this bike. All kinds of goodies in there. One thing with bikes, fat tire bikes, whatever bike you have, you want to carry uh, extra tubes and tire change tools. Uh, this here I thought was pretty cool. This works really well, but I already took it off just because I won't be using it in the woods, but I will put it on uh, if I ever take it to like public land. This is a bike alarm. Open this up. Comes with a, a key fob. So you put this bike alarm on, put it on your seat post, and it's motion activated. So you put it on your seat post, and anytime someone comes up, whenever you set the alarm, if you have the alarm set and they move this bike at all, uh, it's gonna set off a really high pitched noise. Pretty awesome. I'd actually never seen one of those before. 
Not that I've looked into them that much because I don't need them a whole lot, but I thought that was handy. Comes with a really nice uh, padded lock, padded cable lock for your bike. User manual in there. Get everything you need. All right, guys, there it is. Like I say, this isn't my last video on it. I am going to do a few more videos on this. Going to keep putting it through its paces, add some more miles to it. That way I can really get a good feel for it. Uh, just kind of getting it broken in now and so far since I've used it uh, it's just been super awesome make sure and check out the link below check out the website got a really user-friendly website use that code HH1 save you a hundred bucks on this thing like I mentioned so far what I've done with this um, this thing is the super price for what it's priced at in today's electric bike market I'm gonna hop on this thing keep putting it through its paces gonna go check this field over here for some sheds and uh, that way I can come back here in a few weeks, give you guys another update, let you know what I think of it. So any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. Happy hunting. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.